Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where I'm from, man, they love to hate. Where I'm from, they hit the interstate. Where I'm from, man, they keep a trip. Murder rate, how the feel is killed. Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Hey, man, say, man, what's the play, man? So who we having to do in here today? Really crazy. Yeah, man. Appreciate you coming in and fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? Um, like I mentioned before, I told you that I, the success of the brand and everything, the growth and the upstart is not because of me, but because of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with, especially like with you being an artist. It's, it's y'all music, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then y'all are the ones that be in the comments and the ads, you know what I'm saying, and getting it popping and, and making me grow. So I appreciate you fucking with the brand and even come here to sit down in front of me today on some real shit. Yeah, I love your brand. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little razzle dazzle, man. So for the people that don't know, where you from, man? I'm from that John Wick. Yeah. Grow. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The greedy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The greedy, greedy grow, man. Yeah. So, um, what you being from, I feel like the grove was slept on, bro. Oh, yeah. I feel like, especially re- recently, I feel like the grove was slept on in terms of like the, like the Dallas sections and just even being brought up. But then even like rap wise, I feel like, um, they're not kind of like represented right now. I don't know, they're not representing, you know. It's a six five, seven five, six four, yeah. John Wiz. Yeah, grow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can say a lot more stuff, man. We just be here forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have you ever seen the starter pack meme? The what? Starter pack meme. Now like, what is it? It's kinda like, um, so I came up with this question because I feel like outside of the state, a lot of people feel like Houston culture is the culture for the whole state. They feel like it's Texas culture. Or like a lot of that shit is really Houston culture. Drink is really Houston culture. You know what I'm saying? Like we got our own shit. Like y'all got y'all got slabs. We 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 ride bubbles, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got shag, we got haircuts, you know what I'm saying? They got different shit. You know what I'm saying? So like what's um the four things that you'll be like that identifies a Dallas nigga? You know what I'm saying? Cause also when I travel, they know I ain't never from there by the way we move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or the four things that you think that you you would need to uh, survive in Dallas. A gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, they ratchet. Right? Yeah. And then, um, you need a hustle. Real talk? Yeah, you need a hustle. Sure. And you need a car because you can't do none of that. You can't do shit in Dallas without no car. You really can't. And then also, you need a. You need your neighborhood, man, because you just can't go in these people's neighborhoods right now. Do your thing like you used to. You know what I'm saying? They cutting that out. Yeah. Yeah, it's more gang, gang territory, gang related. Hey, these my niggas over here. This is what we're going to do over here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're not welcome. Yeah. Hey. I feel like right now, like, more so than ever, like, there's a lot of sectionalism. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, it used to just simply be Crips Bloods. Man, everybody slow. It's been where you at. You know what I'm saying? But now, every group of three niggas got their own shit. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, we got that old clip business and they got, uh, you know, with Dallas, they own, they own people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we got that growth, you know what I'm saying? Them numbers. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's, it's been good to see, like, artists like you and artists like, um, um, Big Chief, y'all coming back out, you know what I'm saying? So, like, kind of giving the Grove a little bit more light, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, what's, um, and I feel like the Grove is, and it's weird, cause I feel like, alright, so the Grove has traditionally been known, they, they feel like y'all some grimy niggas, you know what I'm saying? But, like right now in front of me, you clean, you know what I'm saying? Every time you see Chief, y'all, y'all clean, you know what I'm saying? Design it out, you know what I'm saying? Well, I can't be dirty, my nigga. Yeah. Y'all yeah. niggas ain't gonna respect that. First of all, and then, you know, um, man, I, I love, yeah, you know, I just wanna come out, I man. There's a lot of good artists out here in, um, in, in the Grove area. I mean, we got, um, we got a lot of J Dow. Uh, we just got a lot of good, we just got, we got Black Jose. Like, we got a lot of good artists out there. Out there right now. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, with you being from Dallas, give me stereotypically, um, in your opinion, what's the difference between the different parts? You know what I'm saying. You said the West Dallas got their own shit. You know what I'm saying. We all know about the Oak Cliff business. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. The outside. You know what I'm saying. So, what what's the difference in your opinion? You know what I'm saying. I guess like characteristic wise. I went like um, I don't know um, well, South Dallas. though. we used to call it Sunny South Dallas, but Sunny South Dallas I mean Sunny South Dallas so player, but you know Sunny South Dallas used to be the like the uh. Like the standard for, hey, it's rough over here. Yeah. Don't play games, you don't knock you out. Type stuff. You know what yeah. 
Cause in Grove, you know, we used to let people come over there, hustle when they got hot over there, what's the name, and then they go leave, and then they just be like, yeah, got the Grove. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like a lot of, and it's weird. Cause I feel like a lot of you, you can find a lot, a lot of cliff niggas in the Grove. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> like some weird yeah. shit. Really? You know what I'm saying? And then they leave, and you know, some, some show love, some don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. That's why, that's why um, Grove got grind. Yeah. Because when I, because when I was coming up from out the Grove, man, Grove was, was they didn't say nothing about the Grove. Yeah, yeah. Now they talking about Grove was like South Dallas. Though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been there. Yeah. Basically, my whole life. Yeah, but yeah, I can see where they get it from. So put us on some of this history. You know what I'm saying? With you being an OG representative here, you know what I'm saying? We gonna have a lot of young niggas that's watching. You know what I'm saying? Even sometimes it's crazy, like me being. In Dallas so long, niggas tell me certain shit. Cause I want, I want born in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas tell me certain shit, and it's like, okay, that's the real history of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Just, just put us on a few. Like the history of Charles Wood. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Just on some, just on some OG shit, you know what I'm saying? Just like, in terms of, the, in terms of the rap history, or even in terms of the city, you know what I'm saying? Cause listen, I, I, this might make me seem stupid, but I ain't know all the slaves were held in South Dallas. Up, right. up until like a month ago. I'm just not knowing that now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like somebody told me that. Like, and I was like, okay. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that would also explain why you'd be like, at a certain point in time, it was the, you know what I'm saying? The definition of, you know what I'm saying? A real nigga or the, 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 the streets or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody had to start there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Type shit. You know what I'm saying? But it just be helping me understand certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just go ahead and put a, a little game. Cause I feel like you do the, I feel like you do the shit in your music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All your music is metaphorical, you know what I'm saying? It ain't never straightforward, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm like, trying to talk in code. Yeah, you know, type shit. Because I'm not just going to get locked up with <laughs> the I mean, they're using that against you, not right? Yeah, you saw, you saw the, um, you saw they came down with a, a verdict in Maryland where they, um, they basically said you can use um, rap lyrics that are admissible in court, you know what I'm saying, against artists. What's your opinion on that? I mean, they've been doing this since pop, though. I mean, they've been trying to do it since pop. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it really don't, it really don't matter. I mean, I mean, at, at some point, the rap game got crazy. Yeah. And it's more gang related now. It ain't just about the music no more. I mean, the people that's on, I mean, I'm like, I'm like, bro, I need an interview, but they got interviews of niggas in jail. You know what I'm saying? Okay, he in jail, my nigga. Man. Give me my spot. Bro, bro, bro it'd be crazy. You, have you ever gone on the gram and seen a nigga in jail living better than you? I'm talking about that. I'm talking about <laughs> the And the audio views, everything. He in jail. Like, damn. Like, the thing they, the thing they doing now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? When I was, when I was coming up, man, bro, we went to jail for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? They getting away with it. Yeah. Why? It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, the bloggers have been under fire recently. You know what I'm saying? Um, people have been saying that we're the, we're the, we're the blame for a lot of the beasts. You know what I'm saying? We're blamed for deaths. Um, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and every side has, you know what I'm saying? It's credence or whatever. What's your opinion on that? You know what I'm saying? My opinion is, the don't have nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? If you did it, you put it on the internet, cause you have to, cause you, you, you have to get it on there, put sin, you have to look at it, and you sin, they put you to another screen, you can type in whatever you want, so you want, must want somebody to see it. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll be on Instagram, but I'll be, I'll post on Instagram, like, when I post on Instagram, I'm be posting a lot of police cases. I, I, see, I see you doing a lot of networking. You know what I'm saying? Especially to like, you know what I'm saying? You have like a little, uh, like a uh, fame in the back. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're doing, I see you networking with a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying? Why is that? I mean, I'm, I mean, I can't rap forever. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you were signed back in the day, right? Well, yeah. 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 yeah Capital? Capital Records. Yeah. Yeah, signed Capital Records. I'm going, man, a little run six years, seven years. I mean, I can take it million one story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make you tell me about three. I'm going to make you tell me about three. I'm going to make you tell me about three. I, man, <laughs> man, and um, and yeah, man, it's just um, uh, it's a lot of good artists here, and what's saying what it is is that if I can't get to a certain level, I can help somebody else get to another, another level. You know what I'm saying? Now, people, niggas are not used to that. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you show love, and you know, I don't expect people to be like me. You know what I'm saying? At all, because I mean, like you show love, and they don't show love back, they think they got a fan, or they, whatever like that. I mean, but I can't be like, oh man. You know what I'm saying? Jesus wasn't like, oh, these niggas acting like hoes, so I can't, you know. You said okay? Jeezy or Jesus? Jesus. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? So, I gotta, I gotta think the same way and just try to help people, as, as many young artists as I can, yeah. because they think they gonna get in, they get in, they see they get one hit, and then they just go, okay, you know what I mean, forever. And I, Psych. And I like to hear you say that because, um, like I mentioned before, like we have a lot of young artists come through, and they, and they basically kind of cry that they ain't had, they there's no help in the city. <laughs> or there's like, or and I, and I and I even feel this in my age range where it's kind of like niggas feel like, damn, we gotta compete with our age range too, and compete with y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? So 
Um, what would you say to that? Especially in a city where like now more so than ever, there's more money in the game more so than ever. So it's like, from y'all's perspective, I understand it's like, like, why hop out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why? Like, why? Well, yeah, man. It's, uh, I just think that, man, I just think that, could be one that, but. Yeah. Because I just missed that, I missed that question. With the question? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like, um, in terms of, like, what artists, some of the young artists feeling like there hasn't been true help from the older generation, or even in terms of, like, creating an actual platform for the city. You know what I'm saying? For our city. You know, like, Houston kind of has, a little struck, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, like sure. every every two years, you they will have an artist come out of the city. You know what I'm saying? Or some, or what, or whatever y'all have going that y'all have actually have a music industry. You know what I'm saying? Where some of the young artists here don't, they feel like we don't. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like the older artists or the older generation haven't really done their part. They don't even know, bro. How? It took, bro. It took 20 years just for it to get to this point, bro. Because I'm I'm telling you, bro, I remember just sitting in North Dallas. We had a band called the Rumble. We had like 18 15s in the, I mean, like eight fifteens in the back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just remember sitting this out in um, North Dallas wondering, like, how are we going to get this message out? Because, I mean, radio was against us. You know what I'm saying? Man, they just got to get off the internet, bro. Get off the internet. You got to walk around. You got to go meet people. You got to yeah. do it the old way. COVID or not. Because, I mean, that's the best way to try to get you somebody that, you know what I'm saying, going to really feed you. Because, I mean, if you don't do that, you've been okay. I mean, everybody on the internet, come on, everybody's a rapper. Everybody, you know what I'm saying, sings or whatever like that. So you're going to have to go, how you, how you, how do you stop that? You been on, you been on Clubhouse? Man, I got an Android, my nigga. <laughs> 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 I'm an Android lover. <laughs> yeah. I hate iPhone, man, but I sure wish I had an iPhone for that. Yeah, yeah man, because I feel like, I feel like Clubhouse is kind of like, um, in terms of what you just said, it's kind of leveling in that out where it's like, hey, now you can kind of, they you brought it together. It the yeah, yeah, you do it right in the house, and it's like it's bringing the stars right there for what it is worth right now. It's gonna once niggas figure out how to sell pussy and do all that shit on there, it's gonna you know it's gonna water down. It's but like, down. yeah, but like right now you can really come in contact with like yeah, niggas destroy shit. Yeah, you know. Facts. Yeah, niggas destroy shit, man. Yeah, I want to get on that clubhouse so bad, man. That's a wonderful app, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that I'm the young artist they have all these opportunities, man. Yeah. man because it's so much time they can make money and they can get back to the hood and get back to their mama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all about what they're trying to do as a rapper, my nigga. Like, if you're trying to just try to rap and then you're trying to be a, just want to get hoes and you just want to, then you ain't going to make it. Yeah. Period. I know you ain't. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it too many times. And it's crazy because, like, people do make it, but those artists never last because that hunger goes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What kind of, if that's where your hunger comes from, you finna have a lot of that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, what's gonna keep you going? Okay, you know what I mean? Saying? For real, bro. Because I'm mean, like, all these, all these, um, I mean, I've be, I been looking at all these rappers. I've been going to Instagram my whole timeline. Feel everybody got a single. Like, everybody got a single. Like, but how do you just, like, how do you so, separate yourself from that? So, how do you personally cut through the noise? Because, like, even with me as a blogger, where, like, people are like, um, how do you like it versus being an artist? Like, like, even ask me, you know what I'm saying? One thing I've noticed with this blogging shit, I'm never short. Of work, yeah, for sure. you feel me? I'm never short of content. Yeah, sure. Every day, <laughs> so you, you feel me? Every day is a new motherfucking song. I actually wake up every morning and I feel like I'm behind. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always more news, there's always more content. Yeah, we so, feel the same way. You, you, you hear me? Yeah. So how do you, how do you how do you so how do you cut through the noise and everything? I talk to my people, bro. Yeah. Like like when I'm on IG, I talk to them. I encourage them. You know what I'm saying? This is the real relationship that I'm having with these people. This is not just no fake shit. Oh, come follow me. Come give me a like review. Fuck that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is a real relationship with these people. I actually care about these people lives. People that follow me, like me, you know what I'm saying? I care about these people lives. I see what's going on. It's like, oh, I look through their story. Oh, they were like, oh, I'm going through something. Else. I say, you all right? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's how I'm, that's how I'm just, I mean, doing things different from what they're doing. I'm actually caring. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Building that real relationship. These, these young artists, exactly. Just like I care for these young artists. The young artists I post, man, they don't understand. It's hard to get somebody to ride with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's not your partner that, that just be riding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Riding with you in the hood and stuff like that. But get somebody else to actually believe in you is hard. No, that's what it's all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with 2020 opening up, um, and I don't even know if it's opening up because I didn't think at this point I'd still be able to even ask this question. You know what I'm saying? But um, do you believe in COVID nineteen? Yeah. I mean, I do, man. I mean, you know, I mean, what 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 can I do? You know what I'm saying? I mean, what can I do? I mean, you know, I got older parents. I'm blessed to have both my parents. Amen. So, uh, 
Yeah, my dad, he on oxygen still right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I barely can be around him. So, you know, this COVID shit is like limiting my time. Limiting your time, already. yeah. Already. Okay. So, you know, that already hurt already. You know what I'm saying? I can't, you know, I'll be like, try to hug my mom. She'd be like, all right, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, shit, I mean, this COVID, it gotta be real, man. And I, and I asked it because I, I was talking to a person and they'll give me a response like yours, right? You know what I'm saying? Or they might even be like, yeah, I just have four people, my, 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 my family die. Like, my last interview, somebody brought for about five names, you know what I'm saying? Before I can even say RIP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then the next interview, a nigga would be like, man, that's a conspiracy theory. You, for you even asking, I think you might, you, you with the man, you know what I'm saying? Um, so like, if the, um, if, if 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 the guy came and knocked on the door right now and they said, "Let me see your COVID nineteen vaccine shot papers," or oh, we got your space in the paddy wagon, what's about to happen? I don't think that paddy wagon. I mean, yeah. I ain't got no. You ain't forget. You ain't forget the vaccine. Mm, I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, I will. You know what I'm saying? But I got a secret. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see. What you what be hearing it, so you hearing it's turning into crocodiles, spatial paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all see, yeah, I mean, I hear about it every day. My wife always tell me to see it every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, it's crazy. So, um, President Biden, um, now President Biden, um, just passed uh, the bill where on all federal property you have to wear masks. You know what I'm saying? So basically, school bus, hotels, I mean, planes, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Do you think we'll ever live in a world where we don't got to wear that? I don't know. Man, this COVID stuff really just got me. I'm mad, at, I'm mad about this COVID shit because it fucked me up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to everybody that had COVID. And I want people to get COVID. You know what I'm saying? And I feel bad for the families. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I, I just think that this uh, COVID stuff, man, is just... I don't know if it was planned. Maybe it was, you know, accidentally put out or whatever like that. But maybe, maybe, maybe in a year, maybe in a year, two years, whatever. Whenever yeah. they feel like it's enough, but they got everybody got the shot and they got the chip in them and stuff, whatever. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna know what I'm in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, do you, do you think you're conspiracy theorist? Nah, bro, I don't believe that. that's a whole bunch of penitentiary talk, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe in that conspiracy theorist stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got a partner that do. At TP2 Live, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that boy, that man, man, shout, man. Shout, out my, shout out to my boy, man. For real. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to them over there, man. Um, I got love for all the other bloggers and other all the platforms in the city that you know what I'm saying, shine a light and just actually um, and I like it that in a certain respect we're change, we're changing the face of journalism. You know what I'm saying? Like when we imagine. Some nigga niggas, like you, you feel me, on a new face of journalism. So I, I like that, you know what I'm saying. So shout out to them over there too, you know what I'm saying. Um, have you thought about how you thought about using TikTok? Yeah, I'm on TikTok. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, AngryLucas.com. Yeah, AngryLucas. To like, have you seen the Buster Challenge? You know what I'm saying. That that's definitely so swell. Bro. You know what I'm saying. I'm so happy for, I'm so happy for all the women, bro. All the women in Dallas, yeah. like rappers, man, yeah. they work so hard and they deserve it. You know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. Erica Banks. Hey, shout out uh, to her. Uh, Kate Breeze. Shout out to her. Man, shout out to her. Uh, she she gonna make it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just win. Yeah. And, um, butter go hard on my sister. Yeah. So how'd y'all, how'd y'all link up for that track that y'all did together? Oh, uh, you know, you know Buddy's would be the queen of the blood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was cribbing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that. But we made up. That's my, that's my friend. I, my ice friendship go back so far. You know what I'm saying? And then I just hit up and said, uh, could you do that for I got the beat. From Keith's on the track. Yeah. Shout out to Keith on the Shout track. Shout out to Keith on the track. Really producers, man. I just want to ask for that. You know what I'm saying? So what made y'all um what made y'all even name the track Dallas Wonderland? You know what I'm saying? Cause like it's like I feel like that that like good feature, you know what I'm saying? Great hip piece. hip producer, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Producer, you know what I'm saying? Great artist. Like how'd y'all even come up with the name and the concept of all that shit? You know what I'm saying? Well it's a nigga just weird like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then I already have my you know, I did that whole song in my head. Like, I do all my songs in my head like that. You, you don't write them down? Yeah, I'm right now after. Okay. You got to, to get paid for it. Yeah. You know he said, he said, I give the label the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, not the label, but yeah. you know, I'm, I'm my own label. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, so what, what's the name of your label, though? Oh, OCP. Okay. Yeah, open, it really on uh, my business called Open Channel Products. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And what I do is I do a whole bunch of internet stuff where I sell stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, try to come up with apps, stuff like that. Well, that's next. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So all our young black tech startups, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, coders, engineers, you know what I'm saying? Come fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? Come come tap in. Come tap in, bro, because I'm, I'm really trying to do something that can help the younger artists. Mostly in Dallas, man. Man, I'm a little biased, you know what I'm saying? But mostly in Dallas, because I mean, I'm one of the first, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the first independent labels, uh, first on BET. You know, we didn't get to really do anything. Yeah. We didn't really get to do it because our CEO got locked up, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So 
things faded off and then the people the, that was with us yeah, at yeah. that time kind of faded away yeah, too. Yeah, so it was just like a... Do you feel like, do you feel like the city is bigger now or bigger back then? Because back then we had artists on the BTs, on the MTVs, you know what I'm saying? Scream tours and things like that. Oh, we're bigger um, now, for sure. Yeah? You know? Oh, we're bigger now, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, Long Live 3. Um, I hate that he passed away. Yeah. Uh, what was your reaction? He said, to his man, death? I was driving, man. I was driving Um, and I seen him on the freeway. And it, you know, you it, seen it? I didn't see him. I ain't seen him. I seen him on my phone. Oh, okay. Because, because I had to go to work, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when I was working, I was saying, I, I, what's the name? And I, I felt something funny. What's the name? Because me and three kind of like started off with DJ D Real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, um, and then DJ D Real picked three. Yeah. You know, he made the right choice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because three is, it was an amazing artist. Of course. Yeah. Amazing artist. He touched hearts and, you know, and, um, when I seen it, it's just like, Part of my little history from me coming back, man, it was gone. And then I never got to record a song with him. Yeah. And I'm a very big fan of him. And, you know what I'm saying? I hope I'm, I want a new city out. I'm going to run it up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Get as many pennies out of my stream as you want to. So I've been, I've been asking people because I feel like this, I get different reactions from the OGs. Not even the OGs, but from the older generation versus the younger generation. But do you feel like um, Mo3 is a legend? Oh, he a legend. Yeah, he a legend. Who said he ain't no legend? I've had people tell me he's not a legend. All right. How 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 he's how how he not listen? You know what I'm saying? Look what he did and from nothing. He was homeless, you know. He was homeless, and then he came up from nothing to five million dollars and touch people's souls. Hmm. I already knew when you can touch a Dallas person's soul, you is the man. Period. <laughs> I mean, for real, because like Dallas people, they ain't feeling that shit. They ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Like Asian dollars stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Asian mm-hmm. Dog, so. Shout out to um, Asian Dog. She, she really doing her thing too, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, with the rise of Asian Dog and also Erica Banks, do you feel like a woman could be the number one rapper in Dallas? She will be a, there will be a number one rapper in Dallas. It's probably already done already. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a, yeah, it is, but it's gonna be, but it, I mean, you can only be number one for so long. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, there's plenty of artists out here. Everybody can get a piece of this pie. That's what people don't understand. Yeah. That's why I tell, I want to be trying to tell the young artists. It's not, it's not the person that's in front of you, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all we got as far as artists. Because this rap thing, like, if you don't, it's, like, it's a bill till you get a chick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's going to be a bill till you get a chick, bro. And that bill can last six, seven, eight years. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you, if, if, if you down for that, then you can, then you can, um, then you can rap. But if not, you know what I'm saying? You really got to love music. You know what I'm saying? But, if, but the young ones, I'm trying to tell them, we all we got. You know what I'm saying? So instead of trying to beat with each other, and sitting there bumping nuts with each other, you know what I'm saying? Just go and do a song with each other. You know what I'm saying? But you know, some of you be acting like hoes. You, know, you can't do a song with everybody. You do a song, they'll start beefing, and they'll start, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, so, right. so what, what is your, cause, you know what I'm saying? You've been to the Tantra, you know what I'm saying? Tantra, you know what I'm saying? But then you also OG. Like, let me know, like, so if a nigga do, so, some two, say, so, 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 so two people do a song, right? Yeah. Artist A and Artist B do a song. Artist A is beefing with Artist C. And Artist B does a song with Artist C. Was he fucked up? So so you saying that, that the other artist, he be one artist beef with another artist and the other artist. One artist beef with another artist, he do a song with another artist yeah. that he beefing with. And then just because of that, he fucking with the ops. You know what you saying? Yeah, d- is that considered fucking with the ops? Uh, depends. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that street is street shit. Is that street shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, you know, like, Chicago niggas, they hit you with the back door. You know what I'm saying? Dallas niggas, they pounce. You feel me? <laughs> and so they just sitting there be waiting. You know what I'm saying? To uh see what you're going to do. Then they're pouncing. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't know, man. I I, I don't. <sighs> man, why are you beefing for anyway? Like, what y'all beefing for? Let's get, get the money first. You know what I'm saying? And then why y'all beefing on the internet? Why y'all beefing the DM? You know what I'm saying? And then, 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 then you want to go blame the blogger and say, oh, you put that out there. What's like, oh, well, what you want? I mean, he put you up there when you was winning. And why he can't put you out there when you was losing? You know what I'm saying? Every controversy sells and every, all media is good media. Do you feel like, um, we support artists, not even just we, but the greater sense that artists get more attention and acclaim in death than when they're living? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, I feel like I'll never reach anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I ever reach the pinnacle of being Right. To me, I'm, I'm fine with being an underground king, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But underground king make money too. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I just feel like, when you're dead, you're gonna make more money, period. I mean, that's what they want right now. See, rappers did it to themselves. Because, 
at the beginning, you know, it was applauded. We talking about from the sixties. Oh, it was like it was hope. And then as further went down the line, they start showing out his money. Then I mean that shouldn't turn to envy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I mean that that's why it happened. Do you, you know feel like do you feel like artists are targets right now? And you make yourself a target. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is they is they are they over there hunting gunner? <laughs> is they hunting gunner? They shooting gunner? Is they over there trying to kill gunner? You don't see gunner and none of that stuff, right? Uh, are they over there trying to? I mean, it's all the niggas that beefing. It's the gangster rappers, bro. It ain't it ain't people that's just gonna me. I ain't no gangster rapper. Me, I'm a street I'm a I'm a street uh street storyteller. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And things that I seen. So how what gives you the ability to Bro. even um show the vulnerability in your music and even like to like um I say that because some niggas will be like nah I ain't finna dress up like no Chinese person you know what I'm saying like like you did in chopsticks video you know what yeah. I'm saying like just in terms of acting like what, what especially even for your age what makes you even you know what I'm saying you gotta be real man. you know what I'm saying I'm just trying to be real as I can I'm trying to rap about nothing I ain't did I'm trying to rap about Oh, I'm gonna do this. You know what I'm saying I mean, I do something for the young niggas or whatever like that because I got I got my little partner six by a card and loop. He always tell him he a loop. And then he always tell me, ah, oh, bro, you need to, uh, he like, he like, ah, oh, bro, you need to go, you need to do this, you need to do this, do this, bro. I'm gonna rap the wild rap, but I, I, I throw something in there, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Pure born blank. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you just can't be fake, man. You know what I'm saying? If you saying you're doing this, they gonna come bring, they gonna come test that. You know what I'm saying? You go back, better pass that tip. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you gonna be on the right now. Gonna be on your blog. You is kid with a beat. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's crazy right now. Like the thing that'll make you big, it's like the thing that'll also take you out. And it might even take your life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, but I mean, it depends. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, every time you get gunshot, bro, 95% of the time, a nigga done did something. You know what I'm saying? A nigga done, nigga done shot something, nigga done robbed something. Before, if you, not probably hear shots on Dallas, Texas, niggas ain't, niggas ain't out there killing for nothing, bro. Yeah. I mean, they all killing for nothing, but, but niggas ain't out there doing it like that. If you hear some shots or you hear an ambulance or what's the name, nigga done did something, bro. You know what I'm saying? People need to understand that. Yeah, this shit crazy, man. So even with speaking of that, recently we had President, um, I was about to say President Bush, but ex-President Trump, um, pardon, um, Kodak Black and even pardon, um, Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What was your reaction to that? I'm happy for Kodak Black, man. I hope he don't mess up. And I'm happy for Lil Wayne, you know. They they got the pool. They got the clout, you know what I'm saying? But it's more important, important people that need to be free. You know what I'm saying? Like, they should have freed C-Murder, bro. You know? Yeah. And then they should have freed uh, the, the Shakurs. Yeah. They should have they freed them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole bunch of people that they like, actually fought. So these people, they, so they can run out here and do this. But, you know, they didn't get free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit wild. Yeah. So, um, on our way out, if you were to walk out the door, right, and we had somebody pop up from 1847, shit, 2007, or even 2019, right, yeah. and they then time machine, you know what I'm saying? They're like, give me one piece of game in this new world that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? It's your world. You know what I'm saying? What would you tell? Get you a gun. <laughs> Man, it's dangerous out here right now, bro. For real. I mean, you can't even, you can't even shine, bro. You can't even shine. Now that like in my neighborhood, bro, if I'm if I, like like I like I dress like this for this interview or whatever like that. In my neighborhood, bro, if I if I want to go get some gas, I didn't want to get no gas, you know. I'm telling you, bro, these niggas be like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. You know what I'm saying? Boy, they niggas be hating, boy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you just gotta uh yeah, get your gun. Hell yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> it should be wild, man. So we're gonna see you one year from now. Uh hopefully, man. I'm still rapping. Yeah. And hopefully, uh Hopefully I'm still rapping. Okay. And um hopefully I got me some young niggas. I'm looking for some talent, man, so I can um So how they contact you if they're trying to get signed? Well, I really can't I really can't as far as signing, I really don't want to like put myself in some, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sign and blow you up. Because I mean I got resources and stuff like that, but I know people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just wanna help, I just wanna help you all like like I was here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga got me about the place, bro. Nigga got me about the hood, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, when I started, I was on the bus for three years. We was on the bus for three years rapping. Look before I even got signed. Yeah, we did a phone call over the thing and then we got signed. It's a different time. These different niggas, time. These, these niggas will not wait three years. For, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've done shit like that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> they, 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 it's just a different bill, man. But yeah, it's, it's so. been great sitting down with you. Um, yeah. Let's get the socials for the old fans, the new fans, the haters. Keep up with you, sir, too. Okay, then. Find me on IG at greedylucchese.com. G-R-E-E-D-Y-L-U-C-C-H-E-S-E. Greedy Lucchese. And then um, that's with our platform.
Twitter, uh, TikTok, YouTube, Greedy Lucchese. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you coming to sit down, OG. We're going to definitely have to do this again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I'm hope gonna, so, man. And I'm going to watch you all year, kind of charge the growth. You know what I'm saying? Um, and keep doing it because you, you don't even realize that you're probably giving other niggas your age range just hope. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes okay. we realize, we don't even know it, but we're like, we're definitely sort of a dream to some niggas. You know what I'm saying? So just keep up and keep at it. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. All right, let's peace, be quick. Yeah. Be smooth. Yeah. Where you from? Where you from, nigga? Where you from? Where you from? Where you from, where you from, nigga, where you from? Where I'm from, man, they love to hate. Where I'm from, they hit the interstate. Where I'm from, man, they keep a trip. Murder rate, I can feel the kill. Where you from, where you from, nigga, where you from? Where you from, where you from, nigga, where you from?